Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about how to create your own portfolio using Wix. If you want to know how to become a developer in 2021 and more content about it, check the description below. So Wix, it's a, a web page, okay, where you can create your website. And in here, we're going to focus on creating your own portfolio for as, as a programmer, okay? So here it's me. We're going to clone this video, this web page in here. I put a photo of me in here. I put that I am a web developer. And in the first page, we have here the videos uh, solution for some projects that I made, that I did. So in here, for example, I create the home page for problem set 8 of CS50. Here I did search project 0 of CS50 web and so on and so forth. Okay. We have a page here when you can put your resume and here I have a button that links to my LinkedIn and here I have some things that I that I did and I also have a page to my projects okay so here I explain a little bit about every project that I made here it's a link for my YouTube channel okay and I also have here a link to my github okay so let's start our project so basically uh here you're going to enter in wix.com okay and you're going to click here on sign in when you sign in you're going to be redirected to this page and you're going to create a uh, your account okay so once you create your account you're going to be redirected to this page okay then let's get started you can do this but i'm going to skip so in here you can choose how you want to create your website you can create this uh, using this let wix adi create a website for you or you can create your website with the editor and here we can choose a template i'm going to click in here okay choose a template so in here we have the templates that we can choose okay i didn't found the same uh template that i used it in my web page but we're going to use a similar and you can do on your own okay you can click here on creative portfolio and here we have a created cv okay and you can click and add it when we come in here we can wait a second we're going to find out uh, a template so the page is already made for us and we can do some changes in there and where it's where you're going to put your information okay so here it's the page where we can work with this so basically it gave us this this hello with the image something that we can put in here we can include and we have other pages so if we come here to resume we're going to find out a page that it's already made for us so in here you can just change with your information and we have here a projects okay where you can put the the video or the image of your project and here a description and the title okay so if you take a look Wix already um, did the major part of our work that we're going to do when we create our own portfolio okay so in here we just have to change some things so i'm going to let this image but in this case if you want to change you can click here the change image okay and you're going to see this so basically here you can click this button upload media and you can search to upload uh, from your computer you can click in here and you're going to open the the images that you have in your computer or you can use other social media to get this image okay in my case i'm not going to change because this is just an example but you can do this clicking in here okay in here in this text we can click on the text and then in the button and in here we can put you can put your name so in here for example giovanna proença that it's my name and you can change in here by for example, making this not so huge this way, okay? Now we can work with this. So this is a bit about me. If you take a look, I didn't use the bit about me. I used a web developer, so I set what I am. So in this case, you can take this in here and you can drag into the place you wanna put. So for example, I wanna put this in here and I wanna say web developer, okay? So here you can put a little bit of your information so people can know what you do and those things. So everything about Wix is to be very uh, intuitive so you can keep searching on things and try to put 
the information that you want. So if you click edit, edit test, you can check, change your the font, the font size, you can make this bold, italic, underline, you can change the color. So for example, I want to put this in red. I don't know. It, it's going to be highlighted in red in here. Okay. So this is basically it. You can try to work with uh, changing the things of their places. So for example, here, I want to make my text larger so I can put this in here until it fits best for me. Okay. But the idea here is to have your image, your name, and what you do. This part I'm going to erase because we're not going to use. So you can just click on the component and click to delete on your keyboard. Okay. Here are the informations. I'm going to take this all out. I'm just going to let my email. Okay. So people can contact me by my email. For example, Giovanna SP. Uh, doorscodingschool.com for example and you can make this fit in a better way in your computer okay so by now we have this we can change the nav bar in here so it's saying nicole writer i can change for giovanna Proença. so i can say that it's my my website and you can change this in here to fit in a better way and make your uh, nav bar doesn't be so huge in the page in here let me make this in the middle and that's it you can change uh, by what you think styles best okay this is just a template that you can work with me so now the next part if you take a look in here i have the videos of my projects right so you can do this by doing the the next you can click in here in add okay this add button in here and it's going to appear this so the for the first thing that i want to do is this part in here in uh pink you can choose another color but it's always good to highlight the video okay so we're going to take this form here so you can go to decorative and you can take something so for example i want to use this so to add just drag and drop so if i want to add i can just drag and drop where I want to put this so I can come in here and you can expand your page just by using this part here the adjust page height so you can just drag this to the bottom okay and in here we can make this larger okay this is going to be the place that we're going to highlight the video so I'm going to put this in here and again you can change the style whatever you want okay this is just an example and let's see change basic shape so here we have other shapes that we can search okay and if we want to change the color we click here in this settings and uh, actually by now we're not going to change anything we can click here in design okay so i'm going to change to uh red again so it's good to use the same uh color for your web page okay and if you want to uh, do this again you can just click ctrl c ctrl v or command v right if you are on another if you are using mac and if you see appears this pink line for us saying that we reach the same size as the other uh, the other square that we have in here so it's very good Wix because you can do everything in a in a nicer way okay so now we have these boxes here. Now we're going to add the video, okay? So now let's add the video. We're going to click here on add, okay? I suggest you to take a look at everything that you can put on your website. It's very inter interesting. So here we're going to find the video. Let me see where it is. So we, can, we have here image, blah, 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 Im video and music. So you, you go to this video and music. And here we have a YouTube, so we're going to drag in here, okay? And we're going to fit the content inside this uh, red thing that we put in here. And we can place this in the middle like we're doing now. So we can make this larger, we can, in here we have this in the middle. 
So I'm going to change the video. We click here and change video. Click OK. And it's going to open this part for us, this pop-up, where we can put the video web address in here. So I'm going to get a video from Dars Coding School. So here I can click copy link address. And when I put in here, I just click and do Ctrl V. And now I can put my video in here. And if you want to put more videos, you just use Ctrl V. Ctrl C, Ctrl V here, and we can add more videos. So I don't know, I want to add this other video in here. So copy link address, and I can change the video here again. Okay. Uh, so by now we have just the video, and let's suppose we want to add a title like we have in here. Let me just drag this. So for example, we want to add a title for the video that we're doing. So we can put in here the add button. We, can, we have this text and you can add a heading. So you can drag in here and you can change the style of your text by clicking in edit text. And we can put, I don't know, scratch one. Let's fake this title, so scratch one. You have to put this in here, change the font size. And we can add in here, okay. And if you want to drag everything to the bottom, you have to take all the things in here and drag it. Let's change here the added text to another color. I don't know. Let's change the font size. I always like to use the Mont, where is it? The Montserrat. Okay, I like this. It gets in a different way. And you can do Ctrl C, Ctrl V to make this the same way. And the pink lines, they help you, they guide you to do uh, centered content, okay? And you can put a lot of videos that you have in here just by doing Ctrl C, Ctrl V in everything. So, for example, you click in here, keep clicking with the left side of your mouse, you can do Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and you can drag this in here. And we're going to add another block of video. And you can do this again and we're going to add a new block of video so you can kind of put here new videos and change the style here because now this style is not the way that it's supposed to be okay so this is up to you to decide how many videos you're going to put or images you're going to put on your home page but it's always good to put all the projects that you already have as a programmer okay so if you take a look so far we have this and we can click in here to see the preview of our page okay so basically with someone entering your page is going to see this type of website okay and you can add more videos it's up to you to decide so it's good to put every project that you use it here we can click back to the editor okay so if you take a look it's basically the same idea okay just change a little bit the style but it has the same information now we can work on resume, okay? And in here, if you take a look again, you have here the switch page, okay? Click in here and you're going to see the resume here. And it already has a template for you. So you just need to change, okay? You just put the information that you, you want to put. So you can just include in here, you can use this own template here and just change the information, okay? So to change the information again, you can click, click in edit test, and you can write everything you want. So this part we already have. And this part of projects, we can click in here. Okay, and we can see the details of the projects and the videos and blah, blah, blah. So if you click here again to switch page, you're going to see that you already have a template of this projects page. So in here, you just need to change again. And to change this to a video, you can put an image, okay? But you can change this to a video so you can delete this video and you can click add here and come here to video like you did on the first page and here youtube okay so you can place this in here and oh i don't know i want to change this video to the last one that i put on the the, the first page right so here i can say i'm going to do an example so to do app using flask okay and here i can say oh uh, 
to do so to do app using flask and you can describe other things that i is so i also use it css and html to do this project and you can do more you can speak you can write more things that is done in here and you can just uh, put more information in here in this projects page okay so i highly recommend you to put everything that you did on the home page in here in details okay so if you take a look in here our website is almost uh equals to to mine okay the the portfolio that we're doing it's almost equals to mine but here we're just missing the part of creating a, a button to go to the youtube channel okay and another that goes to your uh, github account okay so what we can do in here is that uh, below our name and what we are we can put a button in here okay we can't do this anymore in the in here in the nav bar because we exchange it the way that they create the, the way that you can edit the site and now we have this bug but i think they're going to fix this soon enough so in order to to solve this problem we're going to create here the buttons okay so you can click here in add and you have here the button so you can change you can choose one for example this one in here i can put and i can place in here for example um change text and icon you can change the tag you you can change what it does say you can say go to youtube channel for example and here you can put the link to your youtube channel so i'm going to put the doors coding school link so a page oh, sorry a web address and you can put this in here done and you can make this larger okay so go to youtube channel and you can change the color also and you can do a ctrl c ctrl v and you can change in here to put to go to github and in here you can put your github link okay and it's basically it you can change the colors whatever you want you can change the background by clicking in here background and you can choose other styles different than mine you can do the style whatever you want but the main idea here is what you have a home page where you can put the projects that you already done okay in videos so the main projects that you already done the, your contact in here and the button that you people can check your youtube channel or your github it's also a good and uh, interesting thing to have in your portfolio a resume page okay where you can put your work experience your education and your skills and expertise and another page where you can put the projects itself in a, de in a detailed way okay so you can specify better what you did in the videos and that's the idea the contact is up to you you can leave here a contact if you want so people can reach you okay and this is the main idea so after all you have to save it okay and you can see so let's see how it goes so we click here preview and if we take a look here we have the contact we can go to resume clicking in here we can go to projects clicking in here okay and if we click in our name we can go to the home page and see how it is so this is basically how you create your own portfolio i i hope you enjoy this and after doing all the style that you want and putting all your information you click here to publish and when you check now it's in the air so you can take this h to this uh, url in here and if you put to search it's going to open up the website that you just created using drag and drop things okay so i hope you enjoyed this content and see you in the next video bye bye